Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and have you gooped up your iron and you need to ungoop your iron? Well, I'll show you two techniques that work great for me. Welcome to my ironing station. As you can see, I have an industrial iron and it's by Reliable. And when it gets hot, it gets very hot. And when I goop it up, I can really goop it up well. So right now, I have some goop on the bottom of my iron that I need to clean. And the first thing I try is a cotton cloth with water. Now this is just an old cloth that is nice and wet. And I roll it, and then I'll run the iron along that wet edge. And be sure to always test before you use any product or even just water. And you can use the side of the iron. And by taking it, you can run it along the edge. And that way you'll know if any damage is done, you're not damaging the sole plate. So to start with, I will just run it right along that cloth. And the iron is very hot. A lot of times this will work, especially if that goop or any glue or residue has just been put on, like it's a new goop. If you've cooked it on and it's been on for a while, there is a product that you can use. There's a product called Iron Off, and it is a hot iron cleaner, and it really works well. We're going to start with an old rag, and I like to take the rag again, and I like to roll it up. And that way the iron has a surface that I can wipe on. And the product is almost like a toothpaste. It's very thick. And I like to just do an entire row right along the edge of that cloth. You will need your iron to be hot, but you don't need steam. Again, I'm going to test it along the edge just to make sure that I'm not going to have any damage to the iron. You can see already with the edge how much dirt has come off. So now I'm going to be able to take that iron and I'm going to run it right along that line of iron off. And I just run that iron back and forth and I'm not needing any steam. And I can roll it onto the edges. You might need to repeat this a couple of times because you can see how much I've already gotten off. I'll just re-roll it and put another line across. The bonus is there's no smell. Now if you prefer, you can pick up the cloth and rub the cloth onto the sole. But be careful you don't burn your hands. And when the bottom of the iron is clean, I like to take my wet cloth and just run the iron over the wet cloth just to clean up anything else that has been left on. Now my iron is clean and good to go. So even though my iron didn't really look like it was very dirty, you can see it really was. It is very important to keep the iron very, very clean because if you're going to iron something white, anything that's on the bottom of the iron can actually transfer onto white fabric. So it's good to keep it really nice and clean. I do keep it right beside my ironing station so that whenever I do have some goop, I can clean it right away. And every once in a while, I'll clean it, even if it looks clean, just to make sure it really is clean. So now I know whenever I pick up that iron, it is going to be clean. Thank you for joining me today on Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe, and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.